we looked like a good team tonight at times. At times, we looked like a team that had been patting themselves on the back all week, and that's disappointing, and that starts with me as the head football coach. Uh, turnovers on offense, missed tackles on defense, a uh, couple, you know, busts offensively and defensively assignment-wise, a um, couple, an ineligible formation on offense, uh, uh, false start because we're, we're illegal or we're not set on the snap. Uh, just not very clean, and uh, that starts with with me. Obviously, you know, again, did some good stuff. Uh, know our guys are fought, will fight. They showed that uh, throughout the game, and, and never uh, never flinched and, and battled, and always thought they were going to win that football game. Uh, I saw some big time individual plays tonight by guys. Uh, so there's a lot to build up on, and, and uh, we're you know two games into November, and we talk about they remember November. And uh, we've got an opportunity to go back home. Excited to finish out our season at williams Bryce Stadium these next two weeks. And uh, looking forward to getting back to work tomorrow uh, with these guys. So really, really, really uh, disappointing night. Uh, we're going to, like always, learn from this one and then get back to work tomorrow. So with that, I'll be glad to answer any questions. David's got the first one. Hey, Shane, uh, just the offensive line's problems. It seemed like they really just couldn't get on the same page. Missouri was sending a lot of free rushers at times. What was the, the main issue there tonight? Uh, it was a host of things. Um, you know, sometimes when you're in a five-man protection and they bring six, we got to get rid of the ball. Uh, there were certainly some times where we had some couple of communication issues and turn some guys free that shouldn't happen or that, that we shouldn't have. And, and frankly, that shouldn't happen in the uh, 10th game of the season. So really, really disappointing uh, overall uh, on that stamp from that standpoint to to have that, you know, Missouri, uh, I told you guys, they they played better defensively last week against Georgia against the run. And, um, you know, you know what you're going to get with them. They, they line up in, in man coverage and and um, that's what they do and give them credit. They did a good job. We, we hit some plays on them in the passing game. We had some guys open in the, um, in the passing game that we weren't able to get the ball to, but you know, we didn't, we didn't play well enough and, and we certainly didn't coach well enough tonight. Colin Taylor. Yeah, Shane, you obviously guys, you guys played so well last week in all three phases and tonight, obviously you mentioned the consistency issues. How, how do you go about explaining that and, and what can you kind of put your finger on that shows you kind of how this team didn't necessarily respond the way you maybe wanted to. Yeah, um, it's a good question. Um, you know, we'll look at the tape and, and see. And first of all, you give Missouri, you know, some credit. They got their quarterback back and and uh, they played well on offense. We're going into the game, we knew we needed to stop. Uh, we needed to stop Beatty. And they handed the ball to him 34 times tonight. He ran for 209 yards and they threw the ball to him nine times. He caught five of them. Uh, so obviously we didn't do a good job of that. I mean, we talked about one of the keys defensively. We needed the gang tackle and felt like we missed too many tackles. And then offensively, just, you know, sloppy and um, and not good enough. Uh, but again, I mean, we, we talked about it all week. I mean, that um, we needed to be a mature football team uh, with the way that we responded to the Florida game and uh, and understand that everything that we did last week against Florida during practice throughout the week, the way we practiced, how hard we competed, we had to do it all even harder and even better this week. And I saw signs of that in practice, which is the disappointing thing that we would, um, you know, perform like we did tonight uh, overall. And again, we did some good things at times, but just, just um, too, too inconsistent. Ben Briner. Uh, hey, Shane, uh, in terms of your guys' ability, uh, inability to kind of get the run game going, did you feel like something tactically they were doing kind of got that gummed up, or was it really just more one-on-one -on -one battles, that kind of thing? Uh, no, I mean, they, um, last week, starting against Georgia, I mean, they, they started doing a little bit more. Sorry. They started – they started doing a little bit more of, uh, you know, just linebackers playing downhill and plugging gaps quicker and and uh, and playing aggressive. Um, you know, they did that again tonight. Um, you know, they uh, they were flying those defensive ends upfield and, and we missed some blocks from that standpoint. But and then they were going to heat us up and pressure us. But I mean, it's no surprise. I mean, it's what they did to Georgia and 
And uh, that's what we expected them to do uh, to us. And we didn't do a good job overall of, um, of, of executing. It's been important. Shane, you kind of touched on the tackling piece. I mean, you guys have been pretty good tackling most of the year, and, and I know they've got some slippery guys, but what did you kind of see from, from the defense maybe and, and what made things hard to bring guys down? Was it seeing guys fly to the ball? Was it a schematic thing? I mean, what, what do you kind of attribute to? I know you got to look at the film a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Just first glance. First glance. I mean, one that got a good back. I mean, he's, he's the lead in the SEC and rushing for a reason. It's not like all of a sudden he just came on the scene tonight. He's averaging over 100 yards a game throughout this SEC season. So let's give him a little bit of credit. Um, you know, gang tackling was was uh, something that we stressed and getting 11 hats around the ball. And and I uh, don't know if we always, you know, did that at times uh, tonight and and, you know, certainly playing snug against the run and, and getting guys up there and, you know, just um, just, um, you know, one, one very sharp tonight. Hey, Shane, um, your three running backs carried it 30 times. Considering what Missouri uh, had been doing against the run all season, I know you said they look better against Georgia. Do you think you attack them with the run? enough throughout the entire game well we ran the ball let me see we ran yeah i mean what do we have um total plays 65 plays and we handed it to the running backs uh almost half the time and certainly we got into a position at the end where the tempo was we had to crank up the tempo a little bit to to um um to get you know points with the time becoming an issue for sure but yeah i do feel i mean uh we had 65 plays i know they had some struggles against the run and again i told you guys i mean a lot of that got skewed a little bit against tennessee early in the season tennessee ran for 400 yards or whatever it was um they're they're better against the run georgia couldn't run the ball last week against them in the first half um uh we should have been able to run the ball better than what we did tonight uh, and we didn't, and that's certainly, you know, disappointing. But, uh, you know, we tried some different schemes and, and tried to mix it up a little bit as well. But um, uh, it wasn't good enough. But, yeah, I, I certainly feel like we tried to attack them with the running game. I mean, we got in there and got multiple tight end sets and ran the power play, ran the counter, counter play, ran inside zone, ran outside zone, ran all the stuff that we did uh, last week against Florida. And obviously it looked a lot better last week than what it did tonight. Corey Diaz. Saying you, you mentioned earlier, uh, you were hoping to see um, a more mature football team this evening. Uh, can you expand a little bit more on that? And then also to just kind of the specific things that you felt like you observed during the week that you thought were going to be positives heading into tonight. And, and I guess just why maybe that didn't transpire this evening. Oh, uh, when I say mature, I just mean handling last week and uh, and coming right back to work. And and we did. I mean, one like we I saw signs of it in practice. I mean, we had a physical week. We had great energy. We we talked about the Florida game was behind us. I mean, we were uh, we were emotional and and excited and, and had great energy about coming in here uh, tonight. And and don't get me wrong. I mean, we we. We uh, we get a stop there on defense defensively on that last drive. I mean, everybody on that sideline felt like we were going to win the football game, but we can't play inconsistent in the second and third quarter um, like we did. But you know, I thought our meetings were good this week. I thought our focus in practice was good. Our effort, our physicality, uh, all that stuff was good in practice this week. It just it didn't show up tonight um, all the, as as consistent as we would have as we would have liked. Last question goes to Mike Yuba. Hello. Mike Yuba. Shane, can you hear me? No, I can. Start off that. I don't know if you had an opportunity before the half during that field goal, uh, if you had a chance to talk to the officials in terms of being able to have time with getting your players on the field. Did they give you any explanation or did you have an opportunity to talk to them? Talking about our people? Yes, Coach. Yeah. Uh, in, our situa in a situation like that, they're – they're really not going to let you 
of your people defensively. I mean, it's they they know what's going on. It's a last second field goal. People are running people on and off. So, you know, we practice all the time in that situation. Um, you know, whoever's on the field for us defensively, those guys being able to line up in our field goal block team and, and go rush it. So, you know, my 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 question was just making sure that Missouri got out there in time and and that everyone was set and that everything was legal from their standpoint and, and apparently it was i mean it's uh that's a tough deal i mean i don't can't remember exactly what it was uh it won a lot of time uh we always talk about kind of 15 seconds is the the magic number uh to be able to get your field goal team on there get set and kick the ball and and uh they were right on it and and, and did a good job obviously that was a huge play uh in the game great job by our guys keeping them out of the end zone but you know that three points was Obviously, a 31-28 game, pretty critical there at the end.